the classic Anubius Barteri variety nana is one of the aquarium hobby's most well-known plants and has been in production at Tropica Aquarium Plants in Denmark since the 1970s. There is little information regarding its ecology other than it being found in fast-flowing rivers in Cameroon that are now protected. Anubius nana is a very easy, adaptable and slow-growing rhizome plant that grows as an epiphyte best attached to rocks or wood. It is available from Tropica in regular pots, self-service blister packs and as aqua decor already attached to lava stone or driftwood. It is grown hydroponically in Tropica's greenhouses and typically takes around three months to reach full maturity before going on sale. It does well in low levels of light or grown in the shade and CO2 injection isn't essential. The rhizome requires circulating water and it should not be buried in the substrate but attached to the aquarium decor. Remove the plant from the pot, then split apart the two halves of rock wool. Remove as much of the rock wool as possible. Split the plant into several portions. You can attach the plant to wood or rocks with a fishing line, super glue, or simply wedge the plant into gaps in the decor. Anubius nana is a versatile plant that can add a sense of maturity right away to an aquascape. Its round leaves look great contrasting against other plants and hardscape. Because it is attached to the aquarium decor, it is usually best placed in the mid-ground or foreground. Positioning it deliberately in the shaded area is ideal to help prevent algae growth. Its tough, waxy leaves make it a viable candidate for aquariums with boisterous or herbivorous fish, such as African cichlids. Anubius nana is a low-maintenance plant due to its slow growth, even with CO2 injection. Excess growth can be kept in check by removing the leaves directly from the rhizome. This can be done with sharp scissors or by simply pulling off the leaves sharply with your fingers. It can be propagated by splitting the rhizome with attached leaves and reattaching elsewhere in the aquarium. Due to its slow growth, the oldest leaves tend to become covered in algae over time. These leaves can be removed to promote new leaf growth. Because the plant has no access to nutrients from the substrate, it is important to feed the plant regularly with a liquid fertilizer, such as Tropica Specialized or Premium Nutrition. The classic Anubius nana is the perfect plant at an immediate sense of maturity and interest to your aquascape. It will look great as a focal point plant in a smaller aquarium or as a more subtle addition to a larger aquascape. Its slow growing and easy nature makes it perfect for all levels of hobbyists and types of aquarium. Mm -hmm.